Hello, this is Dread, and in today's video topic, this episode is going to be a little bit different this time around. So, like you saw in the multi-shot video, Mike recently answered a question, and it kind of got me a little interested, and I wanted to go more in depth with it. So he said that he was surprised that multi-shot hasn't been played that much this patch. And I'll be honest with you, my humble opinion about this is multi-shot is one of those skills that like can work when you put in a lot of effort and rewards you heavily once you do put in that effort. But it's definitely something you can't just like willy nilly sit down and like want to play. Like it's not very casual friendly to make a multi-shot marksman feel good in the end game. It definitely took me a lot of effort to try to cycle start it. It took me a lot of like trial and error. It took me a lot of like different skill trees. It took a lot of effort and it's definitely not something that someone new would be able to do on their first playthrough. And I was like thinking about it more. I'm like, well, why is no one playing multi-shot? Even though like it's a completely fine skill, it does enough damage. I wish it did a little bit more damage, but like it's not a big deal, right? And then I realized, wait a moment, there is a completely different skill that exists right now that's probably blowing it out of the water. And I thought it would be the perfect example of one of the tenets that I believe in currently. And it's how bad it, like balance can ruin an ARPG. So let's talk about that more in detail, shall we? So I have my character here. It's a character that I cycle start tested over the period of about a day and a half to two days. Got to level 94 in the monolith. We got to around 300-ish corruption. I don't have all my blessings. My gear is meh. It's good in some places, but bad in others. Like my helmet's pretty okay. I got a no LP drill cores. I hit the morning frost, which was cool. My chest is pretty okay. Could have been on a better base. My quiver is actually pretty fucking good, to be honest with you. The, this actually rolled pretty well, right? I have a decent amount of gear, but it's all geared towards multi shot, okay? Now, we're going to go into a monolith uh, fate here, real quick. And I just want to show you how the gameplay feels, how the build feels overall and like in general, right? So we're just going to play it. So of course this build is uh, focused around utilizing smoke bomb to cap our crit chance. So we have to utilize the range that multi shot gives us. As you can see, the mana regen does keep our mana up and we can just do this now. Uh, there you go. Uh, sometimes you have to like aim properly to get, you know, the multi shot to function. I'm like trying to play while also commentate at the same time. So like, to be honest, uh, if you would show anyone this, if someone has like ever actually played last epoch for a decent amount of time and you showed them this kind of gameplay at this corruption and stuff, they would know that like, this is actually pretty good. All things considered, considering it's a fresh start and all that, right? Like, this is actually pretty good gameplay, all things considered. Now, the problem becomes what we're about to do after this, okay? Which I'll show you in a moment. But as you can see, we're killing the monsters within a few clicks. We're killing the rares within a few clicks. Uh, the trash is dying. Uh, you're you're stunning them, which is, means that, you know, of course, it's a huge defensive layer stunning things, right? Away from you, stuff like that. But that was some gameplay of, like, this setup, right? And you would normally say, wow, that's like, okay, it's good enough. It does enough damage for the, you know, investment that I have. We could have much better investment if we wanted to. If we went to Merchant's Guild, like it could go to the moon, we get two LP draw cores, a two LP Morning Frost, a three LP Peak of the Mountain with multi shot levels, right? Better idols, HP idols to make me tankier. Right. There's like a lot of things that we could refine if we went merchant skilled or just kept playing COF for a longer period of time. But yeah, that was a pretty good build. Right. So I'm going to go respec real quick and I'm going to show you what the other uh, way of playing this kind of build is. All right. Now I have respec. I've quickly respec into a blast rain marksman. So the idea is we utilize explosive trap. We shoot arrows down and those shoot off detonating arrows for us. Now, this concept, of course, is to just, you know, shoot as many arrows as humanly possible. 
Now, what I want to showcase here is I have not touched my gear at all. My idols completely useless for my build. My uh, my chest specifically is awful. I could be using a Reign of Winter right now, which would probably be better than this Drelcor's Compass. And essentially what I'm trying to say is I have barely invested at all into this. All I've done is just respect two skills, okay? Now let's go into a monolith and let's just showcase the difference here. Now remember, I have barely touched my character at all. All I've done is just respect. Now that whole character that we were playing before, it was fine tuned and focused towards multi-shot while this is just simply a quick respect I could do in like five seconds, okay? Just to give you an idea. So already, already, just right off the bat, the clear is so much better. It's not even funny. Like, it just feels so much better. And the damage seems to be lower, but trust me, it isn't. Uh, the damage is actually absurd, all things considered, right? Like, the one of the most beautiful things about the blast rain is there's a node that like just lets you double the amount of arrows. So I'm getting around 24 arrows per click right now, while on the multi-shot marksman, I was getting 14 arrows per click, okay? To give you a good example of the differences right now. Now we're just gonna hold down right click. Oh, wow, look at that. He died so fast. It's like as if we have a lot of damage or something. Now remember, the mana cost is just slightly higher. It's like an extra four mana cost, I think. Yeah, like look, look at the difference in gameplay. Like I'll be honest with you, if you watched the multi-shot marksman first and then you watched the blast rain marksman, right? From the footage, you'd be like, Hey, wow, the, you know, the, the, you know, the multi-shot marksman looks pretty good, but then like you watch the blast rain marksman, you're like, wow, wow, this is so much better than before. But then if you watch the blast rain marksman first, which a lot of people did because, you know, like blast rain was really popular this patch. And then you look at multi-shot, which is by the way, just, just so you know, is a completely fine skill. There's nothing wrong with multi-shot. It's completely fine. Like it does enough damage. It doesn't have any problems in that regard, right? Yada, yada, yada. You just compare that to just this and you're just like, wow, like it makes multi-shot look like shit, especially considering multi-shot just, just for reference has about an extra, I think 300 to 400% increased damage, by the way, with the affixes on my chest and my uh, idle slots, by the way, just, just so you know. So I have like half the amount of percent damage that that build, uh, I think, a, no, it's like two thirds? I think, yeah, something like that. It's like two thirds or something. Like before I had to make sure I was always inside the smoke bomb, but this build hits so many times and does so much damage that uh, this version, I don't even have to focus on staying inside my uh, smoke bomb except for single target, right? But it's just, it's just wild to me how big of a difference it is. Like, look at how fast I deleted that rare. Like, that's crazy, man. Now, does this mean that multi uh, does this mean that blast rain is OP or whatever? There are certain there are certain things that are OP about blast rain, which we can talk about in a later video. We'll see what they do for like 1.0. But to, but I'm trying to get to my point where like, remember that multi shot marksman had well over like 400% increased damage from this this in my idols while this is like less damage, right? Because, but all I did was swap skills and this just looked significantly better. And this is a good example of how I think bad balance can ruin an RPG because why would I ever think to focus on multi-shot and try to play with it when something like this blast range setup exists, right? And that's really what the point I'm trying to make. Now, it doesn't matter that like, let's say like, you know, uh, uh, person A was playing the build and saw person B playing a different build and like that build was like stronger, yada, yada, yada. It's not even from a comparison as a thief of joy kind of like mentality. It's more of just like a, why in the ever living fuck what I specialize into multi-shot, put all of this effort into it when I could just play this instead. 
And now, of course, they're probably going to fix this in the next patch. They're probably going to make Blast Train worse. They're probably going to do something with the zero mana cost node inside Detonating Arrow. Also, as well, there's like a lot of other things that I'm not currently abusing with this. Like, for instance, Copper Dust Arrow is bugged and stacks uh, infinitely. Uh, you can also bypass the cooldown on Thunder Steel Arrow to get a huge area, yada, yada, yada. There's a lot of other things I'm not trying to abuse with this setup, but uh, TLDR, I think there's a reason why people aren't playing multi-shot mike and it's probably because blast rain exists right now now i i think that ehg in general has been way too harsh towards marksmen in general over the past few years and blast rain is definitely a uh a difference like it, it like blast rain is essentially like what marksman should have had when it came out or etc right now all i have to say when it comes to multi-shot my main critique of multi-shot is the only viable way of playing multi-shot is to utilize giant slayer if i didn't have to invest into giant slayer to make my build function i believe multi-shot would be in a much better spot but like really it, it's just it's just such a large difference between an unfocused setup trying to play with blast rain versus like you know a completely focused multi-shot setup like this huge difference and that's really how a uh, power creep can ruin games sometimes of course like i said they could fix this they can uh correct the course right and nerf blast rain properly and stuff like that which it probably should by the way but still my point stands where i'm like hey this is just how it is hopefully they fix it now with all that being said this has been dread off to go try the next character bye